Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I have been dating a man, Alex, for almost three years. Alex has a 13 year old daughter from a previous marriage that he has full custody of. When we met, Alex was doing very well. He made six figures and he had a decent house in a fine neighborhood. I had a slightly lower paying job. Almost a year and a half ago, his job had to cut some employees and he was one of them. He had to take on a job and earned much less than he did before. I moved into their house five months ago. Since I moved in, I have helped a lot with the bills, usually half or more of them. Yesterday was my birthday. I wanted to celebrate at a nice restaurant near us. However, it was closed. There was another one a little closer to us, although it was more expensive. I suggested going there for my birthday to Alex and he said that he couldn't afford to pay for dinner there and if we went, we would need to split the bill. I was a little upset, but he said he would make something himself. The cake I wanted was admittedly somewhat expensive. I pointed it out to him and he said again that he didn't think he could afford it with Christmas coming up and we'd have to go half. I told him I wasn't paying for a cake for my own birthday and he said he'd see what he could do. Well, yesterday came. He made dinner and it was quite good. Better than most meals we eat, although not as good as what it would have been at a restaurant. However, when he brought the cake out, it was just something he had made himself. He said he was sorry he couldn't afford the nicer cake, but he made this one and his daughter had helped. I pretended to enjoy it, but after I told him that I was hoping for a slightly nicer cake, he said he had tried his best and he couldn't spend the money he had set aside for bills on a cake. I guess his daughter heard because now he's saying that I made her upset after she helped make it. He keeps saying I should apologize to her and say that I really liked it. Am I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that even a question? <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't you be wrong? Dude, seriously? I would rather someone make me a cake than buy me a cake, you know? I would rather someone make me good dinner and bake me a cake for my birthday than just bring me out to eat. What were the good things that she mentioned about him? <laughs> he made six figures. He had a decent house. <laughs> That's all. That's the only things she mentioned about him that was good. Like she didn't even say he was a sweet guy. Well, if you're not going to appreciate him, there's gonna be someone else who will appreciate him. He sounds like a really great guy. He cooked you dinner and baked you a cake. You're lucky. I don't even get a cake on my birthday. <laughs> what? Shouldn't she be happy that she has a man that is responsible? He's making sure that their bills will get paid. I would rather that than some guy who's just gonna flatter me, but then a month later he has no money to pay for his own bills. She has such a responsible guy here and she's really gonna be upset over a cake. A cake. A cake that he and his daughter made for her. Do you know how hard that is? Dude, you could just find a nice cake any day, but you aren't just going to find someone who is willing to bake you a cake. And she found someone who was willing to bake her a cake and cook her dinner. What more is she asking for? Just shows you like how much they want to make you happy and you're really gonna be upset over a freaking cake. This just makes me mad, like, <laughs> I'm just here sitting single, okay? Moving on. My boyfriend just turned 30 on Wednesday and had a big party to celebrate it. I hadn't been feeling well the last couple weeks leading up to it, but I was determined to make his birthday a great one. Due to my job and financial reasons, I haven't been able to take many days off, so I scheduled a doctor's appointment the morning of his birthday so I could celebrate in the evening. I found out I was pregnant during the appointment and was ecstatic. We've been trying for a baby for six years and I thought this would be the perfect present for him. When I got home, there were a few people already there for the party. I asked my boyfriend if we could speak in private and he ignored me. I asked again and he told me that if it was so important, I could wait five minutes while he talked to his friend. So I just told him. He got extremely mad and started yelling in my face about how I was trying to ruin his day and that today was supposed to be about him and not me. <gasps> He told all the people there to leave and messaged everybody else to not come back because I ruined the day. He then stormed out the house and still hasn't come back. I'm still so shocked and confused. He was so excited to try for a baby, but his reaction made no sense. My mum said that while it is a great surprise, I probably should have waited as it was his day. 
So was I wrong? No. What? Um, that doesn't sound like the reaction of someone who wants a baby. Are you serious? If they were trying so hard for a baby, and if he really wanted a kid of his own, he wouldn't be mad that she announced it on his birthday. He would be even happier because she announced it on his birthday, because that's such a great gift. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't be mad. Like, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. Why would she get mad over that? And the fact that he just sent everyone home, oh my gosh, <laughs> you big baby. Just because you're mad, you're gonna like, just, you know, push everyone away, push everyone out, and then blame your girlfriend who's pregnant with your baby because you guys have been trying. And she told you because she was so excited. And why does he even speak like that? What the heck? Even if my friend came up to me and was like, hey, I need to speak to you. I'll be like, okay, you know? And then I'll be like, oh, I'll be right back. I'll talk to you when I come back. And then go off with my friend. That's the normal thing to do, isn't it? You wouldn't keep someone there waiting when someone's like, hey, can I speak to you? I'm sorry, but it really doesn't sound like his excited at all. And the fact that he was saying that her telling him that she was pregnant means she ruined his day, like she wanted to do it on purpose. Like he's saying as if she planned it, you know? She got pregnant and then she waited on his birthday to tell him. What? What kind of thought process is that? Toxic? Now I just feel bad for the girl. And I know we can't judge on such a small story, but it's because it's supposed to be such a happy thing and he just gets mad and is being a big baby about it. It just kind of really shows us what he's like as a person. Such happy news turned into something like this. Wow. Next story. My mother-in-law's birthday was yesterday and we had dinner at her house last night. She's always been a little particular about her gifts and because of that, she usually sends a very detailed list on the things she would like. This year, she said she felt like everyone knew her well enough to get her something we knew she'd like so she won't send us a list. I decided on a topaz necklace on a petite chain, topaz being her birthstone and she enjoys very delicate jewellery. My husband unfortunately was unable to attend dinner so this incident occurred without him present. When it was time to open presents, she opened ours and she took the necklace out of the box and told us the stone looked like a piss rock and we should have known she wouldn't have liked it. <gasps> That's not a normal reaction for someone opening a present. I reached to the middle of the table where she had tossed it and gently grabbed the jewellery box standing up from the table. I told her I would return it and apologised for gifting her a piss rock and left before she had time to respond. She called me multiple times on my way home and left me multiple voicemails telling me I ruined her birthday and that I was incredibly disrespectful. <laughs> so you're allowed to be disrespectful but someone else isn't allowed to be disrespectful? Oh my god. God. My husband told me I reacted emotionally but told me she was out of line and should have just said thank you because that's not how adults handle gifts they dislike. Was I wrong for leaving? <laughs> no. You can leave whenever you want at a party. If you're uncomfortable then leave. That's the best thing to do. Like what did the mother-in-law expect after saying that? Ew that's such an ugly present. Oh. Okay. Then I will take the present back and I'll return it and get my money back if you don't want it. Okay then. If you're gonna be rude, what do you expect? You know, if you're gonna be disrespectful first, what do you expect? You can't do that, you know? I'm <laughs> just so done with people. Like, if someone gives you a gift, everyone knows that you're just supposed to be like, oh, thank you, thank you. Just like that kid who was so happy getting an avocado. Oh, an avocado, thank you. <laughs> I love avocados. That's what your reaction is supposed to be like, no matter what it is, even if you don't like the gift, who cares if you don't like the gift, okay? Someone gave it to you. You don't have to like it, you know? But just say thank you and just take it because they're giving it to you. Unless they're giving you like a dead rat, then say ill. But if it's just a normal gift that you don't like, just say thank you. 
What's with people? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.